Ah, uh, you cameraman, get out of here. Put it up there. You hear me on the watch talking man? Do you hear this? Are you getting this, man? All right. Hey guys, the only kangaroo you got to see is a dead one. Ain't that some shit? Times are tough nowadays. The van right now smells good. God. Yeah. I heard you get kicked off the floor. Fuck you. Look at this rail, look at this rail, repeat. Been there, slid that. Got a bar coming up to your left hand side. Look to your left, it's low. Get a switch stand double nolly over it. Over. I gotta get out of here. I gotta set some bombs over and out. Get this off, Tom, goddammit. All right. <laughs> worry about my nuts being swollen when I'm sitting on the handrail like this. You know what I mean? That's when I'll worry about it. But until then, I'm going for the rail. Because if you, if you burn yourself, it blows your whole game plan. Skateboarding is like the craziest drug in the world. You know, and it shows me love and it shows me hate, but no matter what, my skateboard will always be there. You know, I can't say no. <laughs> the thing about it is because I can laugh it off and say, hey, I'm an old man. You don't have to take me seriously. You know, I was pro before you. I was well happy before. Are you in diapers, you know? And there's a, I can say all that crap and then get away with my stupid little trick. I'm not that type of person. I'm not like standing there going, oh, I'm Gershon Mosley. You know, I, I just, I'm usually just kind of sitting in the corner or something like hanging out. Look at Gershon, man. I'm Gershon Mosley right there. Oh, hey, I get your autograph, dude. Oh, yeah. I get your autograph, dude. I got it for one of I love skateboarding. Skateboarding is my life, but, you know, like there's another side of me. You know, it's not, you know, I'm not all skateboarding. Like the dog came over, sniffing everybody. He tried to do a Jedi mind trick. Like, these are not the droids we're looking for. But they didn't like it. They just, just went in there. You got Jerron here at Wilson. Oh, yeah. How you doing? My boy right here, teammate. You know, skateboarding's been the rarest thing for me because because it's a prolonged childhood. I never grow up. You know who that is? Let's see. Third charge running. Hey, where the blood at, fool? We're doing something that we love to do, and I think people that don't do that hate that. They hate it so much.
I don't know. In, g in general, we're pretty much uh, probably considered a subspecies of the human, <laughs> human population. Have we got anyone stupid enough to throw a beer bottle on the road? What? No. Pardon? No way. No like way. Hey, to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, we had some stupid kids up in here. And, like, they were starting to fight, and we, we kicked them out. Excuse me, mate. These guys are pros from America, and they've like, come that's, out that's here on their fun. tour. They and they, they these kids are fighting in a room, they started throwing stuff, out, 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 and kicked their ass out. They were being wankers, they were kicked out, and the reason they were kicked out was because they were being fuckers. Hey, did you okay, see okay, them? They were at a time, one at a time. Okay, they were kicked out. It was a lot life and death for me. Like, my parents were uh, disturbed to the point where they made me quit. Because they go, look, you, you're turning into a freak. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I guess so. Because that was everything to me, absolutely everything. I mean, I did my school, I did my, I mean, living in the country, there's nothing to do besides, you know, you do your homework and you skate and talk to the cows and the dogs. Rodney Mullen can skate everything, dude. The only reason he won't go out and do that is because why learn a trick in front of 10,000 kids when you know every other one? And I'm still kind of serious, you know, I mean, I try hard when I'm out there. But, hey, I'm the old man. I'm just glad to be here. They think we got beef because I skated for World and we had bad terms. They wrote something about me in the magazine and I remember I called them up like little hyper kid and dissed them. But I got nothing but love them. We're older. We're on another level. I think Rodney's rad, man. He's complete opposite of the type of skating that I that I do myself, but but I, I have so much respect for him because he's so consistent and he does these tricks that you know, like it's basically a math equation, the trick itself, you know, and he does it every time, you know. He's, he's just it's all calculated and it's sick. Like you can totally see Rodney's personality in skating. I haven't known Rodney that long, but geez, in chat, of course. You know, they, I don't know, those guys have been like super good. Like, they're more like family to me than anybody else has been. And Grishaw would always just be his own thing, you know? And then I'd see him at the contest and he'd be killing it. Just in his own world, click, click, everything. Grishaw's intimidating everyone to death. And then I realized, man, this guy is, an, this is the raddest guy. I, I have more fun doing it for myself than doing it for a crowd. And I figure if I do it the way I want to do it, then other people will be happy. Everything is Gershon's strain. Like, you can take him anywhere. Every single demo we've gone to, he's ripped, you know? Because like, he goes out there and he's like a machine, you know? Like, you just turn the switch on, he goes out there, he skates, and you've got to stop him. It's not like I'm going through like a really traumatic life or anything, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to deal with just people on a regular regular basis because most people don't look at you as a person they look at you as oh that's that guy from the magazine or the video and it's just hard to like be looked at like that for me because of my background I'm not used to the people prying into my life so it's weird he's one of the most amazing people I've met in that he's like he's so conscious of what he can do and he's been through so much but he remains like such on a tight, straight course of, um, he keeps himself in check. He never lets him fall out like, yeah, I'm this or I'm the best or, and not to say that, you know, not to say that there aren't people like that who are always humble, but, but, but Gershon is so extreme. <laughs>